okay, the fishing, fishing breeze part of it. Typically, we start by trolling. We'll troll hand lines, or meat lines, one way of calling them. And we also troll jigs. So we'll have uh, two, three, or four lines of jigs and four hand lines out. If we get a hook up on a, a meat line, just yell meat line. Meat line hook up. Starboard rock, meat line, meat line! If you get a hook up on a jig, it's just a hook up. We don't do bait stops on uh, the meat lines, we do bait stops on, on, the, on the jigs. Keep her on, Duke. Get her up. Can't even gain on him. Come on, girl. We try to net all our fish on the boat rather than gaffing them. Yeah. Shot to get the head every time on one of those tuna that's going around like this. <laughs> If it gets really busy, we may be using some gaps at the same time. Because we definitely want to get the fish in the boat. So we're trolling along, we get a hook up. I guess you're the first one up on a... Uh, I think I'll let the other guys handle, uh, handle the hook up. Aw, oh, come on. you got to be the first guy on the first fish. I uh, know, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll be the first guy on the bait rod, how about that? That's not a bad place to be either, the first guy on the bait rod. <laughs> Okay. A lot of the guys don't necessarily really worry about getting the jig fish. They want to get that bait in the water. Because the, uh, the early worm in this case gets the tuna. Yeah. A lot of times the first guy in the water is hooked up right away. The last guy in the water, yeah. maybe. You know, the guy that was in there, if I say this, the guy's probably going to see this somewhere. The guy that was in there brushing the teeth when it's on a bait stop, I was like, we're on a bait stop. Is your breath that bad? Okay, so we get a hook up. It's real important not to lose that fish, because that's the fish that's going to bring the school to us as we stop. Take your time on that. Take your time on that. Take your time on that. get everybody on bait and get going. So these are the nice little bait hooks with the anchovy. You want nice, flippy, lively anchovies. Probably the easiest way to hook it is sideways through the nose, right in front of the eyes. Like that. That's it. He's that's it. All right. Sweet. And he's good. He's going. These are all lever drag reels, guys. Left thumb. We're always going to fish the scarboard side. I know I'm on the port side here. You start either in this corner and work over, or you fish anywhere along the starboard side of the boat. It's going to drift out. This is going to be the side that's going to go underneath. So you let him out, free wheel, okay? You let this guy swim. Wherever he wants to go, just let him swim. Preferably you get one that's going down like this guy. You let him go down, you feed it out, you feed it out. At the same time, it's going to be drifting to that side of the boat. So if you start in this corner, which is a great place to start, you kind of get him over like this, kind of give him a flip, and you get him out away from the boat in that corner, then you follow him along the side. However, if there's other people in this corner, just grab a spot, get it in the water. That's the most important thing, is getting your bait down in the water. So don't just stand in this corner. Follow your bait around, open the corner back up for somebody else. A lot of times the tuna will just boil right in this corner. You'll get going, you'll have a hookup right away. Okay, so you get a hookup, you're in free will. You left thumb on here, just light pressure, let him run. I don't want you to do anything other than to count to five. One, Two, three, four, five. At the count of five, all I want you to do is go like that. I don't want to see any steelhead sets. Okay? 
you're either going to snap it or you're going to pull it out. So you just let him take it and let the pressure get on it. Those guys are swimming fast. When you do that, you're setting that hook. All the drags are going to be preset. He's going to run. I want you to follow your fish. You're not going to be able to reel while he's running. As soon as he feels that pressure, he's going to take off. If you're on the bow, there's... I think I got hit. If you're, if you're on the bow, you know he's going to come to the stern. And of course, at the same time, the guy on the stern is going to be going to the bow. <clears throat> so you got to figure if you're going to go under him or over him. <laughs> Jeez! Coming under. It's Ross and I. Then you got the guy in the middle who's just going straight out, so you got to go under and over him. He's going to run out first, then they're going to start down, and then they're going to go into a spiral. You can kind of work them with the spiral. Don't get stuck over here. Your fish hooks up here and takes off that way, go all the way to bow. Otherwise, you're going to be under the boat, and you're going to get tangled with the guy with a fish on on this side, and there's nothing we can do if you're tangled underneath the boat. Somebody will lose. If you get crossed up with somebody, we want to get you uncrossed as soon as we can. Um, it's probably going to be crossed more than once, two or three times. The best way to see the cross is to get your tip together. That way the, the twist will come all the way up to the top and you can see which way that twist is. If it's at night, if it's still dark and you can't hardly see it, go one way or the other. Start untwisting. you got a 50-50 chance of being right. Dust, you're on. Oh, other way. Somebody's so you're going to work it in when it's down, coming up. Short, short reels. You know, if you go way up like this and come down like that, it's just going to, his head's going to turn, he's just going to go back down on you. Don't horse him too much. Don't finesse him too much. The longer that fish is on there, the more the hook works loose, right? It comes off. If you pull too hard, you're going to break your line. So just be aware of that. You get him up. When you can see the fish, tell us you got color. I got color. Hey. Hey. If your hook does not break off, always run your hand up and make sure your line feels good, that you're not frayed anywhere. If you have a, a line that's frayed, bring it back and set it in one of these four, and we'll get it re-rigged. Fresh lines will be over here on this side. It does. Grab a fresh one. We'll have bait buckets around. Uh, sometimes we hook them. You guys hook them. It's real important not to congregate all back here. We'll get bait in a couple, three buckets. We'll have one that goes all the way to the bow, one in the middle, another one back here that we can get going. Please don't, if you happen to, to need some more bait, get it, dump like half a dozen, eight in the bucket. Don't put 30 in the bucket. We don't have enough bait to, to do that, and also they die. If you put too much bait in the bucket at the same time, don't leave the net in the bucket or in the bait. You'll kill the bait the same way. We'll get going here shortly. Um, nine, ten hour run. We'll be there just before sunup. Ready to go. Thanks, guys. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you. Two back to back right here. How many did you get, Bobby? Ah. Uh, Four at this bait stop and two broke off. Is that everything was on the back deck? Awesome. We're running out of room, okay? <laughs> Horrible problem. Four more fish and you'll have 16 fish a piece. Well then we gotta get some for the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to cool them down with. We got no place to put them. We're stuck.
stacking them in the garbage cans now. We're full all the way around. Crap. There we go, there's one. <laughs> That's Woo! Do not clean that. <laughs> 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 yeah! Good day! This is Brad, Bob, Brad, Bob! Yeah, they didn't get any. No, that was <laughs>